Hello guys, today we have a new episode about the BMW E30. This car is in perfect condition. Let me remind you that the car was produced in 1987, there were no welding works and accidents. The installed engine with a volume of 3.0 liters is removed from the BMW E46 and has 231 horsepower, so far. Of course, we will refine it, but more on that later. I want to start this episode by going to drift. I have already been to drag racing and showed results in the last episode, it was up to 100 kilometers, 200 and 401 meters, and now I want to test the car in drift. I want to see if the locks, front and rear stabilizers work, also how the exhaust sounds when drifting. And now we will do it. I take two monsters with me, these are M3 and M4. E30 near them looks a little poor, but it does not bother us and we will participate. Let's start. What results did the drift test give us? Stabilizers need to be replaced, namely the rear. I measured it with a caliper and it's 12 millimeters, which is really bad. I found ultra racing stabilizers in the USA. At a discount, you can buy two pieces and they are immediately painted white. The rear stabilizer is 19 millimeters and the front 20 millimeters. I already ordered them. Also, a few words about the exhaust, the exhaust that is now installed in the car does not suit me, it lacks bass and volume. I want a powerful and beautiful sound and there should be a bigger nozzle on the back, we will do this. The engine did not disappoint me, the first speed goes without problems, the second and immediately a lot of smoke, that is, the rubber will burn out in one minute. It also seemed to me that on the R15 the rubber profile is very large, and, accordingly, the rubber is tucked a little. If I put on R17 rims and a lower profile then it might be a lot better. Of course, I have plans to buy and install R17 BBS rims. And now people, I want to do the replacement of the power steering pump. It constantly howls me, in the last episode one told you and this is unacceptable for any car.
I ordered a power steering pump and a reservoir from a BMW E46 that is installed in a stock engine such as on my E30. Now we will install it all and see what happens. I will install the tank immediately in the place where it should be, because now it is installed inside and the oil heats up faster. I pulled out the can. He stood at the bottom under the intake manifold, that is, the temperature was maximum. The tank itself must be installed here, there are two special bolts, everything is clear, there is a fan blowing. I think that revenge is ideal for this tank. Now we will pull out the old tank, install a new one and fill in the oil. I twisted one factory hose, the length is perfect and everything is fine. The hose that goes from the tank to the rail has already been ordered and will be brought now. Now I want to work on the dipstick, it leaks a little because there was welding when installing the engine. The people who did this missed something and the oil flows all over. Now I will remove this detail and see what the problem is. Here is a new hose. Now we will install. Let me explain to you why I replaced the tank. You can see that a clean filter is installed here. But this is an old tank. See how much plaque there is. The filter is clogged. I checked everything, fastened everything well, filled in the liquid, already pumped everything. The wheels were off, the dipstick was welded a little, checked and does not flow anywhere. We can try to start the car. For now, all is quiet and all is well. Perfect silence and this is success. All is cool. And now I will deal with rims. These are original BBS rims R15 I have already ordered R17 but for now I will drive R15. I want to polish the sides of the rims. I will do this for the first time. Initially, they were polished, but several years have passed and there is no a lot of plaque and dirt and no shine. But I think I can do it, let's try. After 20 minutes, we received such a disc. Shine and shine. It remains only to manually modify here. Because there is very little space for a polish machine. In general, I am satisfied, look at a mirror. I finished rims. Everything is very beautiful. My face, as you can see, is very dirty. I replaced the pump, all is well. 
works perfectly quiet. Look at rims. A trifle but very nice. He also did it himself. I turn the steering wheel and no noise. Easy and beautiful. Rims fire. Now I have reached the most expensive, its body kit. MTech 2 is original, second hand, it costs about 3000 euros, it is also very hard to find. In the USA, this body kit costs about $7000, and I already have these parts in a nearby hangar. Here is our body kit, MTech 2, original. There was no soldering, no cracks, no damage, no putty. Here is the rear bumper with mounts, also the front bumper in two parts, the upper and lower parts along with the amplifiers inside. Here is the door pod set, even the stickers are left. I'll flip it over and see what's inside. Everything is whole and everything is cool. I can't wait to install it all, but in some places it is necessary to apply putty. For example, here you can see the indentations that occurred due to the old part. The process of installing MTech 2 parts has begun, here is our bumper. There are many places for clips on the top and also on the bottom. I will show you the entire installation process and I think that there will be no problems. The upper part has its own amplifier and it is mounted on bolts. Let's try installing this and see what we get. The bumper is already in place. Not to say that everything is very easy to install. It takes a little effort to set everything up. But this is what annoys me. It is installed in the original bumpers and I do not like it. But it is what it is. You also need to slightly adjust the tips, take a closer look, just 3 millimeters need to be pressed. Maybe tomorrow we'll warm it up, or plant it, or something else. As usual, nothing is easy for us. I removed the top of the bumper to put the bumper clips in place. Here there is a place, but here you will need a hole, of course, then I will paint everything and fill it with sealant just in case. I bought the original bumper clips, fortunately it was easy to buy, everything was in stock in all stores in Ukraine. And here are the same bumper clips for the lower part of the bumper, here they are somehow installed, and hold this part here. But here you need to make a hole. Now I'll take care of it. There will be clips on the back, most likely they will be painted white. The bumper will fit snugly against the body. On top, everything on these bumper clips is like at the factory. From below everything is bolted where there is a special mount, let me show you. See? Here are the mounts. The bumper is already in place. I can't say it was easy. 
I still have to fix on the sides from below, here and here. In general, a beautiful picture is already obtained. Let me show you the results of our bumper. It's two days of work, the gaps are excellent and I really like it. Unless small waves remained on top, but I think that all this can be removed with a large sandpaper. Perhaps this will all be without putty. I installed it in two days. The deflection was the size of two fingers, I don't know why. But everything is set, leveled. Everything is fine. All clearances are normal. I have already bought a putty, especially for plastic and pay attention to the pronunciation. Work in progress. Go ahead, now I will remove the lining on the doors and I will install the door pod set. Let me tell you how the door pod set is installed. Here there are clips only for M-Tech 2, and here is a bolt. And here is the place for the bolt. And below the hooks for the doors. This is of course a dubious decision, but it holds on and does not fall off. And here there should be a thin two-sided tape like at the factory. Of course, we will also buy it so that there is a perfectly tight fit to the body to prevent water from getting in. I installed a door pod set. Everyone thinks that the original door pod set installs without problems, but you can see that it is not. This part has already been torn off, a clip should be installed here, it needs to be warmed up and put in place, because there will be no snug fit. Going further, here is the door pod, and there is a space the size of a finger, the bottom clip is closed and the top one is not yet. But you can still see it. Something needs to be done about this. Fix it here and leave here, these are my games. We take something that can rest the part here and start heating. But in this place we heat it minimally because a dent can result. And then it will be possible to heat this tip. These are the problems with the original M-Tech 2. Let's see what we get after warming up the part. We press from above in the place where the clip will be, everything fits, and below as well, everything is fine. This is my love with door pods. There is also a problem with the front. As you can see, it is a little higher than this one by about 3 mm or 2.5. This is not good. Also, this part here sticks out more than part of this plane here. This needs to be fixed. And here we are installing the smallest piece of the door pod. Now we will heat with a hairdryer so that the part takes its shape. Then we can putty and saw off, in general, the process is underway.
we continue to work with our old BMW E30. You can see that I have already begun to process the part with sandpaper. To remove these waves. I took a large sandpaper to level it, if I don't level something, I'll use putty specifically for plastic. In general, the bumper is smooth, all planes are ideal in general, we work. Let me show you what happened in the end. See that gap? He is just perfect. There are also small holes on the rear bumper. I think that I can easily remove them. Bumpers are complete. The work was very difficult. I didn't even think that we could make such beautiful gaps. All this is behind. I will show you the final result. And now we will be engaged in the installation of side skirts. I have a whole box of clips and need to check if there are enough of them. And then you will need to make a bunch of holes in the stock side skirts. That's horrible. After work, I have a few clips left. Everything is set in its place. It seems to be in order. We still need to order these clips, thank God they are in Ukraine. We also need six pieces of these fasteners. Basically everything is original and everything is available. All is cool. On top there should be a row of clips, and you need to drill the stock side skirt, which I did. I took the clip, sharpened the fasteners in order to fix it in the side skirt and leave marks, because if it is higher than the side skirt, then it will rest against the door pod clips. In general, I do not have a second chance because there will be holes in the metal side skirt. All holes are done, and now we install the clips and install the side skirt itself. And then we clean everything, process the holes with soil, paint, cover the inside with mobile so that the side skirt itself does not suffer in the future, in order to save this car for 100 years. So we have a side skirt with holes for the clips, and now we need to drill a hole in the fender here for the side skirt fasteners. We will fix this and then install the fasteners here, in general, a lot of holes are needed. I made a lot of holes in the side skirts and not only, all this needs to be primed and painted, I have already placed the primer and now I need to paint. Now I want to do door pods. Because it's all in waves. I will try to align it as much as possible but it will be difficult because the part is soft. But I will do my best to make it so that everything is perfect. You can see what it feels like the part is covered with liquid putty from the factory, and this helps us out. Because we remove the main irregularities according to the material that already exists. Perhaps somewhere you need to putty, for example here. That's all. 
this hell is over. Finally, I finished this preparation, puttying and installing the same M Tech 2 plastic that everyone wants so much. It was complicated. Now we will cover all the details with a plasticizer and primer. All the parts have been primed, now I want to install the rear bumper on the car, and also show you the spoiler, now I have the original M Tech 1 spoiler installed, which I don't want to keep, because I have the original M Tech 2. I want that by everything was beautiful and with style. Rate it. I installed a spoiler, this spoiler consists of two parts. The lower one installed perfectly, since M Tech 1 spoiler was installed. I've seen people drive without a spoiler top, let's show you what it looks like. This is how it still happens. How is it better? That's it folks, this video is coming to an end. I showed you a very large amount of work that we have done with this BMW. I'll tell you that installing M Tech 2 on a car was a super difficult job, namely with ideal planes and gaps. This hell is over. All the details are already painted, in the next episode we will install it all. We have big plans for this car. We will completely change the exhaust system, install a smart one and not save on it. These will be collectors, X-pipe, resonators, excellent exhaust, also enlarged two pipes from the beginning to the very end. The way we have plans to install the compressor that I showed you in the first video. I have already met a man who has a similar engine installed, and I can buy everything I need from him. For example, the stove on which this is all installed, and also this person can give me a couple of tips. I think that we will get about 350 plus horsepower, while the car weighs 1.2 tons, so I think it will weigh that much. But the results must be great. In general, the plans are grandiose, but all this will be in the next episode. By everyone, I urge everyone to help our soldiers who defend our country. Glory to Ukraine and glory to our army.